Welcome to the first in a sequence of videos introducing programming with Python. I've already got the Python integrated development environment up and running here, or more correctly known as the integrated development and learning environment, idle. I can execute individual commands here, but what I actually want to do is write a program. A computer program is a collection of instructions which are executed by the computer to perform a particular task. To start a new program, I select File, New File, and I can write my code here. I want to perform some simple output. I want to display a message on the screen, and I can do that using the print command, like this. One instruction. Now let's be clear, the print command doesn't actually print anything. It displays text on the screen. Before I can run this program, I need to save it. That means I can open it up and do some more work on it later. To save it, select File, Save As, and then browse to an appropriate place to save it. I've called my program Welcome. All Python programs have the extension .py. And now to run my program, I select Run, and then Run Module. Notice I can press F5 to get exactly the same effect. When I execute this program, my output is displayed in the Python shell window. Let's add some more instructions to the program. Every time you make a change, you'll need to save it again, but if you just select Run, Python will invite you to save it. And this time, I've output three messages, one after another. There are a few things you need to bear in mind. If we want to output a string of text characters, we must enclose them inside double quotes. Watch what happens when I leave out one of the double quotes. I have an error message. Let's fix it. You'll also run into problems if you leave out some of the brackets. You can see a computer program is pretty fussy. We have to obey the rules of the language. If I mistype a command, for example I type plint instead of print, This time the program seems to be running, but it falls over when it hits this command. Name plint is not defined. I'll explain a lot of these error messages later. For now, let's just make sure we type things correctly. Perhaps you'd like to have a go. Write a program to output the lines of your favourite song, one after another, like I've done here. Pause the video now if you want to give it a go and I'll show you a solution in just a moment. And here's my solution. Twinkle, twinkle, little star.